Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch and I'm here this morning at Gibbs Gardens. It's been about six weeks since our last visit and Heather and I have come back. So we're here and we're excited. We think it's going to be azaleas is going to be the main blooming thing this time. Um, in previous visits, I've used the Z50 and the Z6 and today I'm using the Canon R6 and I'm going to be shooting uh, exclusively with the 100 to 500 telephoto lens. It's supposed to have a really close minimum focus distance, so hopefully I can get some good close-up shots of flowers for you. And Heather, who is going to be rolled around in a wheelchair today because her foot is still healing from her latest uh, broken foot incident. Well, the cable on my microphone failed, so I had tons of audio problems during today's video, but here are a few of the flowers that I was going to talk about that we were going to photograph and soon I will show you the photographs that Heather and I made in this beautiful area near the visitor center. They had a number of these beautiful flowers in bloom both near the manor and down near the visitor center and I believe these are called common foxglove or maybe lady glove but uh, Heather and I both really liked them and we both made a lot of photographs of them and I always like to make a photograph of Heather while she's got her camera out and working. Here you can see her there near the flowers making some photos. I believe the common name of this flower is Chinese pink. They were really beautiful and I enjoyed photographing them. I wasn't able to capture them as beautiful as they are in person. And here's Heather in her chair and look you can see flowers all around her as she is working. And here is Heather's photograph of the common foxglove flower that we both made photographs of for a while there. I enjoyed making photographs of these beautiful purple flowers. Their name, I wasn't able to find anything but the scientific name and I can't pronounce it. These that Heather photographed are the common name for them is dragon flowers. Lots of beautiful color there and I made another photograph of these beautiful purple flowers and look at 428 millimeters and 6.3 the background is nicely blown out. Here is Heather's photograph of the Monet Bridge there at Gibbs Gardens. It's always beautiful and it keeps getting more and more beautiful with each visit. This is a tree that has been cut down and made into a chair, the stump has, and I enjoyed sitting in it and getting my photograph made. Look how small that 100 to 500 lens is. Now Heather and I are at the beginning of the Japanese garden and we both made photographs of this beautiful area from right here using our telephoto lenses to do landscape photography there at Gibbs Gardens at the beginning of the Japanese garden. It was really beautiful. I made a vertical photograph on full frame at 135 millimeters and then I cropped it to 4x5 and I thought it turned out really beautiful but I also made a 118 millimeter horizontal shot of that area and I thought it turned out really nice. Now Heather was on APS-C and she made a 185 millimeter shot. So she was way more zoomed in and I thought hers came out beautiful. Here is another photograph that I made of Heather. I just enjoy taking photographs of her as she is working here at Gibbs Garden. And here is Heather's photograph. All the Z50 photos are hers and the Canon uh, R6 photos are mine. This is a, I believe a rhododendron bloom. Heather and I both made photographs of this single beautiful flower. I thought it turned out really nice and I like the beautiful background. Here's Heather's photograph. I'm not sure what this flower is called, nor do I know the name of the previous one. And this is Heather's photograph here. And this next photograph is Heather's photograph of the purple flower that I showed you my photo of previously. Now here is a gentleman that we saw on the other side of the Japanese garden and he was working, I think that's a Sony camera of some sort and I love his camera bag. That's the same Low Pro Pro Runner 200 that I have. And here is Heather's photograph. This is another area of the Japanese garden at 46 millimeters. Now one thing that's cool about carrying a 100 to 500, you can also make bird photos while you're out doing photographs of flowers and landscapes and here's an American Robin. We've kind of been cruising around the Japanese garden. It's been pretty awesome and 
I'm not sure exactly what this is. We'll identify it later, but I think it's a rhododendron. That's what Heather was saying she thought it was. And Heather, right here in her chair, has made an awesome photograph of, is it this? Yeah, that little baby fern. This little thingy, Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on it. Yeah, right there. And uh, may not look too cool in the video clip, but it looks great in her photo. This place is so beautiful. Here's that photograph Heather made of that little fern or whatever it is. I thought it came out really beautifully and Heather was happy with it as well. I made some more landscape type photos there in the Japanese garden area. I thought this little concrete structure with some beautiful flowering trees in the background was nice. And, and this, uh, I don't know if it's a bird bath or a bird house, but it was way over in some ferns and I thought it turned out nice. And Heather made a photograph of this tiny flower, and I made a clip about it, but there was audio was messed up. But the photograph that she made with the bug on it turned out really awesome. I love this shot. It's one of my favorites of the entire video. Next, we left the valley area where the Japanese garden is, and we started hiking up the mountain and rolling Heather up the mountain towards the manor house. And there's still some daffodils blooming way up there and I made this photograph. I thought it turned out really beautiful and Heather made in that exact same area she made a photograph of this new growth on this pine tree of some sort. While we were in that area I made another photograph. No this is Heather's photograph excuse me of these beautiful purple flowers. I think these are similar to the purple flowers that I photographed down the hill and this entire photo of mine is just surrounding for the subject, which is that orange flower there on the right. Heather and I both made photographs of these. Uh, it's interesting, she's edited hers with a little bit of a warm tone, and I did mine uh, much, much cooler. And I like the look of both of them, although I found this particular flower beautiful to look at, but difficult to photograph. Here's another one of Heather's photographs of these beautiful purple flowers. I like the yellowish green centers and she's got some nice bokeh. Here's a photograph that I made and this one kind of reminds me of the way my Nikon macro lens renders. It's really beautiful. Here's Heather's photograph of that same orange flower I believe that was in one of my photographs earlier. Both Heather and I photographed this purple flower but I didn't like the way mine came out at all and Heather's came out really really good so I'm glad one of us was able to make a decent shot. Okay, so rolling the wheelchair kind of makes you go off the beaten path. You know, it's, there's stairs up to the, to the manor house and the manor house is kind of over that way. And we've kind of come over here. I guess that's some employee parking or something right over there. All of a sudden coming up this trail was the chonkiest catch you've ever seen. It was just beautiful and it came right at me and I made uh, some photos using uh, animal eye detect and it locked right on its eye as it came towards me. Look how heavy this cat is. It was so beautiful and I was thrilled to get a photograph of it. Heather and I have been kind of laughing at chonky cats recently and all of a sudden here comes one while I've got a camera in my hand. And of course I always like to take photographs of Heather. This is almost all the way up at the manor house where I made this photograph and then Heather made this photograph of me. I like to hold up that 100 to 500 lens in photos so you can see just how tiny that thing is. Here is Heather's photograph of kind of the tops of these foxglove flowers. Really beautiful and a uh, nice background on that one. Here are some pansies. There's lots and lots of pansies at Gibbs Gardens. And usually they don't catch my eye, but I really like these, so I made a photograph of them. And this is Heather's photograph. I believe this is a rhododendron bloom. And she made a photograph of this near where the chonky cat was. And I made a photograph uh, with kind of a not blooming yet rhododendron in the foreground and a fully blooming one bokefied in the background. Now here are some roses. Most of the roses aren't blooming yet. And that is Heather in the background, completely out of focus and bokefied. Now right here is another cat. This one's nowhere near as chonky, but this was all the way up in the paved area right at the mansion or the manor, I should say. And both Heather and I made a photograph of this cat. The previous one was Heather's, and this photograph is mine of the cat there at the manor. Well, I think we are as high as you can go. We're above the manor now. That's the manor house right there. And Heather and I rolled by here just 
just a minute ago when we went we went by on this path there's sweet miss heather and went on that way to see if there was any higher and there was there was a couple sitting on this bench over there and the lady looked at me and said you're getting a workout today and then she laughed and i swear she sounded exactly like the wicked witch of the west from the wizard <laughs> of oz i was scared i was like oh my god she's gonna she's gonna get her monkeys on me I'll get you my pretties and your little dog too. <laughs> we made it all the way back down the hill. No problem. Uh, we met this lady on the way who just had to tell Heather about a time that when she was in a wheelchair with an injured foot years ago, the person pushing her let go, which of course did wonders to reassure Heather's nerves as we went down the hill. But when we got to the bottom, uh, before lunch, we stopped by. This is a place that we stopped last time we were here in these, these fuzzy thingies and they're poppies and now they're blooming, those beautiful large yellow flowers there. So we made a few photographs of the poppies. Okay, here is Heather's poppy photo. Really nice. She's got one in focus, one slightly out of focus, and one very out of focus. And the next shot is mine. I just did a single poppy bloom. And it's funny because the first half of the day, my microphone was giving me all sorts of trouble, and the rest of the day it worked fine. Well, we have stopped by their little cafe again, and this time I got a barbecue sandwich, and Heather got a chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. And we got some chips and some soft drinks. And usually after we eat, we go ahead and go home, but we just noticed as we were walking past the pond, there are some, uh, uh, what do they call them, lilies? Mm -hmm. some, some, water water lilies. Li some water lilies starting to bloom. So really wish we had brought polarizers. Uh, that was a fail on my part when I was packing the camera bag. But after we eat, we're gonna go shoot some water lilies. There's just a few, not many so far. This little fox, if you look at it from a long way away and just glance at it at the corner of your eye, it will freak you out, even if you just saw it two hours before. <laughs> this fox. Here are the water lily photos. I didn't think mine turned out anywhere near as good as Heather's, but they turned out okay. And here is my first one, and here is Heather's first one. I'm, I'm showing both of our not good ones before our better ones, even though Heather's is still really nice. Now this is the better of my two lily photos. I just like it because there's a little bit of reflection in the shot, but it still needs lots of improvement. Now Heather's shot, this is Heather's better of her too. This one came out really, really nice. I like this one quite a bit. She did a beautiful edit as well. Well, we are rolling out of here. The lilies were really cool, which I guess you probably just saw the pictures of the lilies. And this is our third visit in a span of nine weeks, I think. And we really like this place. And I enjoyed shooting with the 100 to 500. And I think Heather enjoyed shooting with the 18 to 400 as usual. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye. Whoa, don't crash.